Coming up on this week's show. We ride a brand new trail. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's fresh dirt and it's all coming up on, on the Dungeon Show! show! Yes, welcome to this week's show that's a little bit different, a little bit special. Blake, what are we doing today? Oh, Mr. Ash, we're in Forest of Dean in the UK, Peddler Bike Away Trail Centre, and they've just revamped two of the old trails, Countdown and Launchpad, which is the trail behind us. They've resurfaced the whole thing, they've re-given it a facelift, and it's running so fast and it's accessible. Yeah, it really is. It's a really special trail. I mean, the berm behind me is nearly six feet tall and I've never ridden on a trail that's literally not got tire tracks on it yet. So it's an amazing experience. And like Blake said, it's accessible. So it's a little bit more special than any other trail, this one. So we're gonna get into that later on. But first, we're gonna head over to the news. We're gonna ride up to the, top to the top and get ready to go down this trail. So over to Tom and Toth, what you got? Welcome back to the weekly news, where the biggest story this week is, of course, the new Canyon Lux Trail, a bike designed to keep up with the rigors of modern day cross country. We've seen course design for traditional XC develop over the years with more gnarly features and events such as the BC bike race becoming more popular than ever. These kind of tracks require a little more from a bike, something a little more capable. Enter the Lux Trail. With 760 mil bars, a dropper, clearance for 2.4 inch tires, 30 mil internal width rims, and 480 mil reach on a large, it's only when I mention that it's got 120 mil of travel, a 67.5 degree head angle, and a frame that tips the scale at just under two kilos that you remember I'm actually talking about an XC bike here. Yep, this has got all the characteristics of a trail bike whilst retaining that cross country heritage. See Leo, I told you I could do the whole thing without saying the word down country. Another new bike for you this week. UK brand Stanton are soon to be releasing this, the Switch Niner FSTI. It's a version of their existing full suspension Switch Niner with no holds barred, introducing a titanium front end and carbon rear end to the mix, which alone saves 750 grams over the alloy version. 140 mm of rear wheel travel is delivered through Stanton's dual link suspension, which offers a progressive suspension platform for those 29er wheels, as well as some nifty engineering which keeps those linkage bearings tucked well away from dirt and grime. Something that's a bit of a must for the peak district where Stanton hails from. I've not had any experience with titanium frames myself, but from Neil's feedback, they're pretty magical to ride, with a feeling like no other. It's not available on the website yet, but we're presuming it's got the tried and tested geometry from the existing bike. Maybe tweaked a little bit, but I'm sure we'll find out more soon. Casey Brown's Dark Horse Invitational happened in Revelstoke, with a huge group of female freeriders hitting some massive jumps and drops, many landing tricks for the first time. It's rad to see a big group of girls sending it on competition-sized features. From formation to future grounds to Dark Horse, women's freeride is really gaining momentum, which is awesome to see. And adding to that momentum is Hannah Bergman's Hang Time, which will be held early September in Bellingham, Washington. Kids Ride Shotgun, who make the kids seats for your bike, have got a new mount out which has zero frame contact. The Shotgun Pro attaches to your head tube and seat post, with the saddle on a bar which hovers over the top tube. You can change the length of that bar and adjust the leg length and width for different size kids and bikes. It fits kids aged 2 to 5 up to 60 pounds or 27 kilos and retails for 180 pounds. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer to see another edit from Fabio Widmer, it seems. Having just got back from a nasty crash on a motorbike, he's now had a crash on a mountain bike, breaking his ankle and tearing some ligaments in his shoulder. Heal up fast, dude. Crankworks have announced a huge list of international athletes attending Crankworks BC between September 22nd and October 2nd. There's three stops starting at Sun Peaks, then Golden, finishing up in Silver Star with a slopestyle course built by Brett Reader and Matt McDuff. Included again this year is the return of the legendary Mount Seven Psychosis, so riders will have to endure 15 odd minutes of the crazy steep 1200 meter vertical descent of the Dead Dog Trail. Right, if you're in the market for some new gear, we've created a little quiz for you to try out over on the GMBN shop. It will let you know what type of clothing is best for your style of riding, and it takes into account things like your favorite places to ride and how long you like riding for. Go check it out after the show. Okay, that's all from me. Let's head out to the streets of Bath to catch up with Toph for this week's sickest thing. Cheers, Tom. Hey, everyone. Right, this week's sickest thing has to be that new G. Atherton video, The Knife Edge. I think it's actually the craziest video he's ever put out. Like, it's so insane. Obviously, the name's in the title, but basically, it's this, like, super narrow, razor-sharp, 
ridge line where actually in some areas like if you fell off you would definitely die and like i guess he almost does later on like it's actually mad and the line itself is just so steep and technical i mean you see he's like going completely slowly and then there's these like tiny little areas where you drop in and you just suddenly go flat out or like there's that bit where he like drops in you've got like a bike length to like choose whether or not you're gonna hit that next step down but then like oh yeah he decides to like pull out and this is like G. Atherton, one of the best riders in the world. He like pulls out, just hips into nowhere, and just rides down the side of a mountain like. It's like insane. I mean, in my opinion, I think there's like a couple of seconds worth of footage of bombing down that hill is probably some of the best mountain biking we'll ever see. Obviously, the big talking point in this video has to be like one of the most insane crashes ever. I mean, yeah, he does that drop, which we were just saying, with the half half a bike lane thing, where he like drops in, he cases it, and then just goes bucked like over the bars, huge drop, lands, bounces off a rock, like you see it actually breaks the ground, and then just ragdolls the whole way down, like so bad, super almost dies. Now I'm not trying to be controversial in any way, but as a viewer, I watch this, like this crash is so bad, it makes Rampage look like Resi. Also, I think we need to put some respect on the name for the people that were on the hill that day, the helicopter crew, the people in the hospital, basically anyone who helped you survive this. You all did a really good job. Right, anyway, that's my sickest thing this week. It's time to go back to the shed. Also, check out this super sick Aston Martin Lagonda right here. So insane. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Toff. Right, Blake, it's time to hit this trail. Fresh dirt. This is going to be mad. Definitely gonna be mad. I'm gonna follow you. That's All gonna right. be mad. I'll do this first bit. We'll ride. We'll ride countdown. Yeah. Then in a launch pad. Yes. Two brand new trails. Let's hit it. <laughs> That was the moment I thought you were going to double that whole thing. Yeah. No, no, I nearly hit that tree. <laughs> you nearly hit that tree. <laughs> Man, that is cool. This trail is wild. Fast. Oh, so much fun. We need a little break, Blake, before well, the next bit. Well, we've completed stage one. Talking about stages, let's hurry, head over to Rick McLaughlin for EWS. Hello, Dirt Shed, and welcome to the beautiful surrounds of Tempest Brewery. Brewery? And myself, there is first appearance on the Dirt Shed Show on a skate ramp in a brewery. We're here doing some essential work today, trying to tee up our new Enduro World Series signature beer for the Vittoria EWS and EWS E Tweed Valley event. We are just down the road from Interleaven and Tweed Bank. Look at all those amazing sherry barrels and casks and full of all the good stuff. We're doing some sampling today and Ruri's going to maybe demonstrate some aerial maneuvers on their skate ramp for us. Look, we are about to hit the road on Saturday for what promises to be the biggest month off racing in Enduro World Series history. We have got no fewer than six races over three weeks. We have a few days break and then we are straight into the Tweed Valley for the final race of the year. 
Isabeau Cordurier, Hattie Harnden, Melanie Pujan, Morgan Shaw, all gunning for glory as are Jack Moyer, Richie Rood. Can Jesse Melamed break through and be a factor in the pro men's race as well? We head first of all to a brand new round, Michelin Ludenville EWS, one of the most beautiful spots in the Pyrenees. We can't wait to get there. Some staggering looking trails. I'm more than keen to plummet down. Stay tuned right here on GMBN. If you need to catch up, get yourself up to speed. All our highlights films, as well as loads and loads of background tech and stuff are already here on GMBN and GMBN Tech. I would advise a quick brush up on everything e-bike. EWSE is set to get underway at Specialized EWSE in Cran, Montana. That's the round after the French round we're about to head to. We will be your guides for you. We'll be right here on GMBN. Lots of action heading your way. I'm going to leave you to that because Ruri and I have got some important business to take care of with these barrels. Ruri, say bye-bye. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Boom. See you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Look at it. Whoa. That's right. Thank you, Rick. Can't wait for EWS to start. No, I can't wait. So good. Right, time to hit launch pad. Stage two. Oh man. Fresta! Good fun. That is so fun. Those burns <laughs> are amazing. I was jumping like grin, grin. Yeah, I love I grinned on my grin. Following you is incredible, man. Ooh, man. That thing's an absolute beast. Yeah, that, that is fun. <sighs> oh, what a, what a day we've had. That has been absolutely <sighs> nuts. I can't believe we've got <sighs> that trail fresh. Yeah, oh. from the top to the bottom, doing laps on it. <laughs> so much fun. Um, I tell you what, we've still got time to do the bike vault today, but I think I need a cup of tea and a bun. A cake. Yeah, so let's head on down to the bottom, get that kettle on and have a look at your bikes and maybe a little bit of fowls and bales. Let's have a Yeah, let's go and yeah, do that. Come on, let's, let's go and do that. Come on. There's a tree here. Who put this tree here? Who put that tree there? Mr. Ashton, oh, hey? Such a good day, such a good Three day. Three hours up there, we like nearly missed lunch. <sighs> yeah, So I'm hungry and tired right tired now. Tired out now, but it is time to get into the bike vault. It is mine, yes. Uh, let's take a look at your bikes, we've always got time for that. And let's start off with Jesse's Santa Cruz Bronson. Oh, um, let's see. Over in Phoenix in Arizona. Oh, look, I look, you know, the color, Phoenix, Arizona, hot yellow. I think that's a super it's nice. It's got everything. It's a super nice to start. Super nice. Super nice. Uh, next up, this shot looks a bit dark, a bit dark and grey and moody. Uh, it's from George Can and I... it's his Vitus Escarpe. Oh, I like the Vitus, I see. Yeah, Vitus. Vitus, Vitus, Vitus. Um, this is in Barnstable in the UK. I'm going to give that a nice bing. It's, nice, it's I can't nice... see it. It's nice. It's Good there. bike, though. It's there. Um, oh. oh, look at that. 
It's a Stanton switchback from I do like a, I do like a hardtail. Yeah, I tell Goodyear what. tires, can't beat that. Look at that Goodyear. Very old school logo. Yeah, it's very old school logo. And it's a nice looking bike. I think that's more than a nice I think that's logo. super that's nice. Super nice. Super nice. Uh, next up, we have got, oh, it's an e-bike. That's it, what? No, that's all right. We can take the odd e-bike. We can. Again. We can take the odd e-bike. 69 year old. Yeah, this is from Mike. Um, KTM. Yeah. I love the terrain he's it's riding. It's amazing. I think that I'm going to give that. It's, it's non-drive side though. Oh, so nice. Oh, so nice. Was, he was at we first e-bike, like I've we, seen in a bike, we and I gave gonna, it a nice. We was going to go more. Oh, wait up a minute. This is Cameron's Cannondale. It's a super nice. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> Cannondale gets super nice. This is um, a 2020 habit. It's very nice. He's got a habit. That. Yes, the habit is getting super nice for Cannondale. Next up, Ooh. we've got Danny's Santa Cruz Blur. CC 2018 in Romania, right? Romania, we don't get many from Romania. No, because they remain over there. That's why they don't get onto our channel much, do they? That's a terrible joke. Anyway, that's, I like that, that's nice. <laughs> Because they ran <laughs> <They know. know. laughs> You idiot. Um, <laughs> that's super nice. <laughs> that's a super nice. <laughs> Next up, we've got oh. Dan's Common Cell Meta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging that. <laughs> <laughs> I dig that. That's really good. That's a super <laughs> nice. There's on a roll. Next up. <laughs> what the? What is that? What the hell is that? What is that? I've never seen one of those before. Um, what is it? Joseph's Eminent Onset. It looks like it's made out of... Wow. The, it's... It looks like it's made out of the future. It is made out of the future. <laughs> what Look is at that? that? I've never seen one of those before. It's very boxy. I would say it's nice. I, I wouldn't want to say more than that. Wow, that's... But yeah, thanks for sending it in, Joseph. Is your bike a super nice. If it is, please send it in to us so we can completely mess it up and give <laughs> no. it all the way through. Um, the bike vault, we'd love to see it. Remember, the GMBN uploader is there for you to get involved in the show, uh, whether it be the bike vault or hacks and bodges mm -hmm. or with any other stuff you'd like to send us. But we do like to see something else of your riding. <sighs> and we've got some of that for you next, just to end the show. We've got some fails and some bales, bingers. <gasps> Hold tight, this is gonna be scary. Riding. Great good riding, riding and pretty good crashing. Wow, well, you've got to crash to learn. You have, you have. Oh, do we have to? No, but yes. No, but yes. Um, thank you for watching this week's Dirt Shed Show. I know it was a little bit different, but we had a good time. We had a, uh, just, it's such so a good time. The sun riding. was shining. We rode two brand new trails. 
fantastic. Um, we will see you next week on The Dirt Shed Show, but don't forget to love, like, and share on the social channels and like below this video. You click that thumb, it goes blue. I kid you not, try it. Um, and until next time, see you next week. See ya.